welcome guys to my full review for the Cambridge Kayak Dogfish Fishing Kayak. So first of all, who are Cambridge Kayaks? Um, have a look on the internet, Cambridge Kayaks are a company based in Norfolk, just on the outskirts of Cambridge. Um, and they're a company, a family run business that's been going for around about eight years. And um, that's the information that I've actually found regarding Cambridge Kayaks. Um, the other way to know about Cambridge Kayaks is if you're looking for a starter kayak, a budget kayak, and you go onto eBay, this is here in the UK, I think there are the impressions I'm getting are planning on pushing out into the European market as well. But here in the UK, if you're looking for, like I said, a budget kayak, a starter kayak, a package deal, then you pretty much go on eBay and I think they pretty much flood the market regarding kayaks. So if you look for a sit-in kayak, sit-on top kayak, a touring kayak um, on a budget, then 99.9% .9 of the time it would be a kayak uh, supplied from Cambridge Kayak. So moving along from the grab handle, um, you've probably noticed here you've got a great big storage area at the front of the kayak. Um, if you look, it's held down by a couple of bungees, um, as you can see just there. So if you undo those bungees and lift it up, it reveals a great big tank well. Now this tank well basically measures from the insides, um, it measures 21 inches by 15 and a half inches. So it's a fair size tank wall this is. So moving now from the front hatch into the actual cockpit area itself, um, you're greeted with this other cover here. Um, comes with a cup holder, universal rod holder mounts, so you can move your rod holder wherever you wish to on this actual plate itself. And it also does come with a ruler as well for measuring fish. Um, if we open it up with these two bottles here, so if we open it up now, as you can see, you've got more storage area here. There's two compartments and they are actually um, a solid unit so you can't actually see into your kayak itself. Okay, moving along, um, your central hatch. So it's basically a lever you lift up, you twist and you pull. So you also come with more storage. Um, so you get a little neat little pot here that you can store your leads, um, lures, hooks, etc. or whatever, the mobile phone or whatever that you wish to put into it. Um, once you remove the tray, you do get full access to inside the kayak as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a neat little thing. So it's fairly simple, put the, put the container back in, close your hatch, and twist lock, and it's locked. And there you go. So moving to the foot braces, um, you've probably noticed there's actually two on each side here. One is your normal foot brace, and the top one is for your rudder. Now the rudder does come with this kayak as well, within the price. Um, fully adjustable, so if you wish to adjust them, there's a little lever here, you just pull out, like so. And then you just obviously just set it to wherever you, whatever position that you want it in and lock it again and that makes it super solid. So now moving towards the back of the kayak it comes with two flush mounted rod holders at the back of your seat and it also comes again with this great big huge tank wall at the back. Now this tank wall measures 20 inches by 27 inches so it's a fair size and it does come with the secure bungees as well. So like I said, this kayak does come with a ruddy and how it works is very, very simple. You've got a pull cord here to the right of your seat and it locks into this little chamber here. And all you do is you pull this cord, which would then pull the ruddy, as you can see. Once you've dropped your ruddy, then very simple, just lock it into place.
So guys, so that's the walkthrough of the kayak. Um, basically, what you get for your money. Um, now I'm going to talk about uh, my personal experiences that I've actually had with this kayak over the past five months. We ran river tests, we ran lake tests, and we took it out on the sea as well, if you watch any of my videos. We also did stability tests, performance tests, uh, durability tests. We pretty much took this kayak out and pretty much hammered it. Um, we ran every test possible on this kayak. It's a very difficult one to actually review because of the price bracket. At the end of the day, this is a budget kayak. You're getting a hell of a lot of boat for your money and you're also getting the ruddy, you're getting paddles, you're getting PFD. So I've got to be as fair as I can on this, on this review. Um, and I've got to categorise at the end of the day, for £400 on everything you get, is this kayak worth £400 with everything that you get? So that's what I'm basing this review on. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the stability of this kayak. Now, like I said to you earlier on in the dimensions, this kayak is 30 inches wide. Um, the stability of this kayak is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I'm absolutely blown away by how stable this kayak is. It's a perfect fishing platform where you need that extra stability. I've stood up on this kayak, I've rocked this kayak, I've side mounted this kayak with my legs in the water, sitting on the beams. I have had no problems with stability with this kayak at all. Um, it's probably one of the most stable kayaks that I've actually sat in to be fair. Um, so yeah, the stability is top notch. I cannot fault the, the stability of this kayak. Okay, let's talk about the performance of this kayak. Um, the impressions that I got from actually paddling this kayak as well on still waters and rivers. Um, the tracking was great. Um, I had no issues whatsoever with the tracking. Um, the performance was pretty pretty decent as well between paddle strokes. It maintained a half decent amount of speed between paddle strokes. Um, and for a 12, little over 12 foot boat as well, you can't really complain. Um, yeah, this, this, the actual tracking itself was, you ca I can't fault it to be fair, it does exactly what it says it does. Um, and that mixed in with the stability of the kayak as well, made it a very, very comfortable ride as well. Um, plenty of leg room. Um, yeah, and it performed, it performed pretty decent. I'm pleasantly surprised, to be fair. Um, because I, when I'm looking at the bottom of the boat, it's pretty flat. Um, and I thought we'd suffered pretty much from a, quite a bit of drifting. Um, and it didn't drift at all with them channels, just obviously took over and maintained the line. And um, yeah, it was, you, got a couple, you got a chime at the front, a chime at the back as well. So it cut through pretty decent. Um, so for an inland boat, um, the stability, the tracking, the performance was f f fine. There was no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, it's a very, it can be a very, very, very comfortable um, fishing platform, and that's exactly what it is. Um, when we took it out onto the sea, um, it was fine around the bays. Um, we had to drop the rudder in the sea uh, because. When you're digging that little bit harder, right to left, the boat did seem to sway a little bit left to right. Um, but it was more than manageable, it was fine. Um, the performance lacked a little bit. Um, the kayak did slow down quite a bit as well between paddle strokes, so you found that you did have to paddle a lot more than you should do, really. Um, but the minute we got out the bay, that's when problems started occurring with the kayak, which at the end of the day, this kayak isn't designed for out of bay stuff. Um, it's more designed for, like I said, your inland waters and your, your coastal bays. Um, the minute we got out the bay, the wind obviously picked up, the, um, the currents picked up, and we got them main um, boils as well, and it did cause the kayak a few problems regarding performance and uh, maneuverability as well, um, even with the rudder down. So, as for a sea kayak, um, it's got a question mark over it. It's fine within the bay, like I said. If you're just doing a little bit of coastal, um, it's fine. But the minute you start paddling out a mile, um, then it slows down. 
um, and it makes your life a little bit more difficult in paddling. Um, but like I said, it's not designed for that, so I've got to, I've got to review it and I've got to give my opinion on something that it is designed for, uh, which is coastal areas, lakes and rivers. This kayak comes in at 30 kilograms in weight. Um, it does feel a little bit heavier than that. It does feel quite heavy for a kayak at 12 foot. Um, I don't know if it's because it's just such a, a wide, bulky unit with such a depth on it. I think the depth on it's like 11 and a half inches. Um, but you've got to sacrifice something down the line and you know, you're getting a great stable kayak that performs pretty well. Um, with fantastic materials you know so you've got to sacrifice something unfortunately it does come down to the weight on this kayak um, if it is maneuverable onto a roof by yourself um, but if you're planning on just dragging this kayak around then I would d highly recommend you getting a trolley for this kayak so I'm now going to go over the build quality of the kayak um, some of the things that I, I love and some of the things that have really wound me up to be fair um, and it's, they've just cut corners on a few little things that's re it's just nitpicking to be fair um, but I don't understand when they put that amount of work and that amount of um, accessories and everything that you get with the kayak and they just cut little corners um, I don't understand why they've done it um, but I'll go over them with you now anyway so the main problem that I have um, with this kayak is the way things have been sealed um, flush mounted um, rod holders, the drain plug itself um, and I'll show you that what I mean by that now. Um, as you can see they've been siliconed in um, but you haven't made a very good job of them at all. Um, they look quite messy to be fair and they do let water in as well um, because they are not properly, properly sealed. When we take this boat out from the sea um, we have to basically drain quite a lot of water out of this kayak um, and even when I leave this stored outside my house it water gets into the kayak as well um, so as for the sealing of the kayak it isn't very good to be fair it's not a massive issue because you can just unscrew them um, take them off clean the sealant off and reseal them yourself so yeah as you can see um, the drain plug isn't sealed properly either. Um, when I'm actually draining water out this, it just doesn't come out the plug. It actually comes out from around the edges as well. So again, take this off, uh, reseal it, and stick it back down, and then screw it back down again. So my overall thoughts on this kayak is: Is kayak worth four hundred pounds? Then the answer is yes. It's that shadow of a doubt. You're getting a hell of a lot for your money. You're getting. You're getting, like I said, you're getting a paddle with this kayak, you're getting a PFD, you're getting a rudder, you're getting a rod holder. Um, great storage of the kayak, great stability, okay -ish performance, um, and it's well worth the money. Um, I don't think there's a better kayak out there for the money, to be fair, um, for what you're getting. Like I said, you are sacrificing that little bit of weight, um, but it's not, it's more than manageable. Um, I just, like I said, I just wish the seals were sealed a lot better. It's not a massive issue, you can actually just seal them yourself and screw them back down again. Um, but no, overall, I'm very impressed with this kayak. I'm very surprised. I thought it was going to be not as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm being perfectly honest with you. And I am very, I am relatively surprised. So, um, yeah, give them a good, I'll put a link on this um, video as well so you can check out their kayaks. And um, yeah, if you do purchase one guys and you take it out, let me know what you think. Um, but as for my opinion, I think it's well worth £400. Cheers.